Do you think GC has changed you? Uh, I think so. I think in the uh, in a good way. Um, you know, going to high school, you know, from middle school to high school, it's a huge change, obviously. And so, uh, you know, you go from making fart jokes in middle school to making more elevated fart jokes in high school. But then, by the time you get to the end of it, you really it's when it's when you really start to mature. And so, um, you kind of get a lot of the real world aspects of school that you probably didn't really think about before that. And so, for me, I think it changed me for the better because it made me more aware of you know, how things are and what you're supposed to do and kind of how to prepare yourself for, um, you know, once you get out of high school. Do you ever wish you went to a different school? No, I mean, there was never anything where I was like, boy, I wish I wasn't at GC. Uh, for you guys, obviously, you have Snorville High School and you have, you know, um, Gordon Central. But when I went to school, it was just all Gordon Central. And so you have Snorville Middle and Ashworth Middle combined there. And so it was a lot of a lot of different personalities that would clash. You know, it's a lot harder to get used to people in uh, ninth grade than it is from sixth grade, you know, when all the little elementary schools kind of combine. And so then they have a whole group of people who, who have, you know, have all these years of being around each other and throwing them in with a new group. I really enjoyed that. Um, and so I, I feel bad that you guys don't have that, obviously. Um, but at the same time, there was never an issue where I felt like I wanted to go to a different school. Is there anything you wish you could go back and change about high school? I really wish I'd done more stuff. Uh, when you're in high school, you're kind of in this world where you're like, oh God, I gotta do math homework tonight and this homework. And it makes you not want to do as many things when you get home because you feel like you want all your free time. But I really feel bad that I didn't have, um, you know, I wasn't in more activities. I didn't do more things after school. Um, I just kind of, you know, the, the few activities I did do, I enjoyed them and then I went home and that was it. And so I wish I, I joined more clubs and, and, and did a lot more things. How and why did you choose your career? Uh, it's kind of funny when people ask me this. Um, it was the day before I was going to start college. Um, and I, was go I was going to sleep. I, I was originally going to do uh, computer sciences. I was really big in computers and, and I still enjoy you know, working on them and doing stuff with them. But uh, I was going to do that. And it was the day before I was about to start my first day of school. And I already declared my major, did all that stuff, went through and made all my classes. And I just kind of, it was like one in the morning, I just woke up. And I said, holy crap, I don't want to do that. And I got on the computer, and I'm talking like I spent an hour. I changed my major. I dropped like two classes, and I did all these other things to do it in education. Uh, for me, I, I thought about computer science because it was something I enjoyed, something I was good at. But at the same time, I really wanted to do something where I felt like it mattered. And to me, uh, teaching and, and being around other kids, and especially in this county where you know where I grew up from, and uh, knowing about everyone's background and the kind of you know struggles and, and the things that. You know, kids here have just as big of dreams as any other place, but here, you know, sometimes it's harder to meet those. And so to kind of help those kids be an inspiration for that, help teach those kind of students, uh, made me want to do that instead of, you know, just sit around and work behind a computer all day, so. Did you or your senior class participate in a senior prank? Um, I didn't participate in it because uh, I didn't really care. Um, I know you're rolling your eyes at me. I, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, the... Everyone always has really big dreams. The, year, the kids before us, their, their prank was so bad that some of them got like, I think arrested, literally. Like they were charged with things for like damaging stuff. And so they threatened us. They said we weren't gonna walk with some of the things. And so I, they did something with a desk, desks in rooms or something stupid. Like I said, I, I mean, it was, you know, for me, it's if you're gonna, if you're gonna call it a prank, it needs to be something that is uh, slightly dangerous and somewhat frightening. <laughs> to the people who it's happening to. Uh, no offense to us as teachers now, in case anyone's seen this. But um, for, you know, I think the only, the only other thing that we did was they turned, we submitted, like, we gave him, uh, Mr. Ford, our principal at the time, we gave him like a dollar or like a golf ball or something as while we were graduating, because it was his last year, and so we, were, we did something like that. But aside from that, no, nothing, nothing cool. No burned football fields, no, no anything, so. <laughs>